many thanks for joining me, Elvis, for another Somerset Real Air review. I don't know what's going on there with the hands. Um, flat Cat Beers. This is their Max Top Not Check Top Not Check Pilsner, I should say. Um, I've seen these beers. I, I follow them on Facebook, and I've seen loads of pictures of these beers and uh, write-ups about them because they've got the Otto as well and I believe many other um, beers I imagine but I've never actually had any and they, they've always interested me I don't know it just, just looks like a nice sort of bottle I like the bottle um, I know I, I shouldn't really buy beers for what they look like but you do um, anyway I've got this beer from West Country Ales so um, let's crack it open oh yeah it's, it's, it's like I say it's a Czech Pilsner 5.3% ABV in a 330ml brown bottle. I do love Czech Pilsners, Silver Crown. Um, I think they're just fantastic Pilsners. Very good. Um, admittedly I have only ever had sort of like the big main brands, Pilsner Urquell, uh, Budweiser Boudvar, um, a few others I think I've had on cask in various pubs, but uh, I've been very impressed by them. I don't think it was bottle conditioned. Yeah, I mean, looks like a lager slash golden ale, couldn't really tell the difference. Loads of carbonation in there, sort of straw colour. It's darker than what you can see. It's about the colour there, me behind, me behind it. A few white bubbles on, floating on the surface. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells, it just smells great. It's got that sort of really fruity, zesty, really good quality lager aroma. Definitely tell it's a lager, you can smell, smell it's a lager. It's got, it's like a peach sort of aroma in this. Peaches and it's got that, that sort of gold nail zesty orange. Oh, it's just, it's bursting with like summer fruits this is it's got that lovely sort of lager multi sort of yeast I really mean, it smells like it's going to be so refreshing admittedly it's really cold today but um, I don't think I, I, I don't mind I, I haven't got this chilled by the way so it's at room temperature or cellar temperature but I don't really care I still think I'm going to enjoy this I'm going to dig in cheers everyone And oh my, that is amazing. That is amazing. The reason why it's so amazing is because that is the first lager I think I've had, or Pilsner. It may be a problem with the bottling, I don't know, but I like it because there's not much carbonation in there. Now, I didn't like a lot of carbonation in my beers, so. It's allowing me to get a lot of flavour from it. It is so fruity. It's just full of peach and orange, like I said, like on the aroma. It's just, and it's got a lovely sort of sweet malty flavour. This is not bitter at all. This is a nice sweet, if you like sweet beers, this is the one for you. Very pure water quality to it as well. That, that, fantastic. Um, there's a lot about Maximilian von Norvac, um, who Max is. I won't read all that. The beer, an excellent pale premium Pilsner lager with a sweet fermented fruit taste and finish with, finishes with a mild bitter aftertaste. <coughs> Seriously mild because I can't even get any bitterness but then I'm used to really powerful IPAs. So you know. Um, Ingredients Bojos and Mal, Mal, Mal's Barley's, Sladic and Pre, Preminent and Siles Hops. Sorry, I do apologise to anyone from, from the Czech Republic or anywhere who can speak Czech because I can't, sorry. Um, flatcatbeers.com. I do not actually know where, where they are based. Brewed and bottled in the Czech Republic, so I'm, well, obviously, Czech Flat Cat must be. I don't know, it's obviously a Czech company, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's, that is a fantastic beer. Max from the um, Flat Cap Beers. Um, right, 
So I'm going to a little sum up here. Well, like I said, I do like Czech Pilsners anyway. I think this is a very good example of one. Um, it, 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 most people will probably want a bit more carbonation than that. It is very undercarbonated. Personally, I think that's a bonus. Anyway, I think I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I think it's, it is fantastic. It's up there with the Pilsner Equel and the uh, Budweiser Bouvier in my book. A must. This is one to get lager drinkers off of cheap lagers and onto craft beers. Thanks for joining me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box. Hopefully you're going to join me again soon for another review. Cheers everybody.